Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to another episode of Testing Makeup Week where today we're going to be testing out NYX makeup. I know you may be thinking, Steph, haven't you done this before? And yes, I have. I think I've done two of these in the past, but NYX always come out with new products and they have so many products that I've never tried before, so I thought I would do a full face. This is the finished look. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below. But if you'd like to see how I create this look and my thoughts on the products, please keep watching. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin. This is the Angel Veil vale Primer and I've heard so many people talk about this, mostly American YouTubers from what I can remember. I can't remember what it's supposed to do. It says skin perfecting primer, ultra velvety, oil free, feels lighter than a cloud and leaves skin looking and feeling divine. Well, that is exactly what I need right now. Oh, it's a little bit watery, but it's just like this kind of white cream. Ooh, it does feel velvety. My face does feel like a cloud. So smooth, but it's not like a silicone primer at all. It has kind of filled in my pores from what I can see, but not in a silicone kind of way. It's weird. It's kind of a silicone, but also moisturizing primer. So next up we have the Total Control Foundation, which I've had for a little while, but I've refrained from even swatching it on my skin. This is supposed to be super buildable from what I can remember. So it has like dropper. I got mine. I don't remember what color I got it in. Uh, beige. That is very yellow tone, which I can appreciate. I was actually expecting that to be a lot more sheer than it actually is. I'd probably say it's like a medium coverage foundation. Let's see if we can build it up kind of around the center of our face maybe. Yeah, there's actually a lot like that Kiko foundation. It's like nicely buildable. I'd say this is actually probably a bit more glowy than the Kiko one. It's it's not oily by any means, but it does have a bit more of a glow to it. Yeah, I really, really like that. For concealer, we have the Gotcha Cover Concealer. This one is in the shade beige as well. Probably should have gone for a slightly lighter color maybe. Oh, it's thick. Oh, it's really thick. I don't think I'm actually gonna need that much. Actually kind of reminds me a bit of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, just in the way it's kind of applying, because it is very, very sticky. But as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, that is literally my favorite concealer. So I'm hoping it is like that, because that'll be a lot cheaper. Yeah, that's so much like Bye Bye Under Eye. Even just in how it like blends out. That is good to know, because Bye Bye Under Eye is so worth it. I mean, I'm literally still on my first bottle, and you guys know I use that probably every single day. I do like everyday makeup. And I think it's around about 20, 25 quid or something. I think that concealer, which I believe is around about the same size, was around eight pounds or something. Definitely less than half the price. That is definitely the best dupe I've come across Bye Bye Under Eye. So if you guys want to get your hands on that, because I know I talk about it all the time, I know it's not easy to get your hands on, especially if you're in the UK, you can only really get it on like QVC, then pick that up because that is so good. Next, I'm going to move on to a product that I've actually had for a really long time but I've never used it. And it is the NYX Wonder Stick. This is just their contouring stick. So on one side you have like a dark contouring shade. The other side, this one's actually shimmery, I think. Yeah, so you've actually got a shimmering highlighter, which is normally quite unusual for these. Normally they have like a yellow matte highlighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw in some cheekbones. That looks like a pretty good color. I think, I don't know if these have yeah, this is just universal. WS, so Wonder Stick 04 is the color that I've got. I don't know if they have more, but yeah, that's just the one that I've got. And then I'm also just gonna take that highlighting side and pop that mostly on my cheekbones, I think. That's nice. It's not the most intense thing in the world, but you know, not everyone wants an intense highlight for some reason. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my sponge again, see how we go with that. Ooh, that actually blends out really, really nicely with a sponge. I thought it was going to dry down, but... Ooh, that's nice! Seriously, will NYX ever make a product that I don't like? So whilst we're just on cream products, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes using the High Definition Eyeshadow Base. It just has like a doe foot applicator. It's like a... I don't know. Like an off-white colour almost, like a creamy shade. Blend that in. That just kind of blanks everything out a little bit. Seems pretty good. 
For powder, I'm going to go ahead and use the Translucent HD Finishing Powder. I have this in the loose version, and it does have a bit of flashback, um, but I still really like it as like an everyday powder. I don't tend to use flash that often anyway. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and pack that under my eyes. This actually has a lot of kind of kickback to it, which is good because I normally hate pressed powders because I find you have to like full on scrub your brush in there to get anything out. Oh, that's really nice for under the eyes. That's full on just like smoothed everything out. I actually think I might prefer this over the loose one, which I wasn't expecting to happen. I know they do like a banana one as well. Definitely think I want to get my hands on that one too because if it's anything like this, I'll definitely like it. And then I'm just going to get a larger fluffy brush and just swirl my brush in there and just kind of dust it over the rest of my face just so everything is set. For contour, I'm actually going to go ahead and go into the Love Contours All palette. Let me know if you guys want like a full look featuring this palette or something. I've never actually used it before, only swatched it a few times. As you can see, you've got two highlighters, you've got two bronzing shades, two brow, uh, brow powders, and then you've also got nine eyeshadows. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and start with this one because I don't want to go in too dark. Nice and pigmented. Yeah, I feel like that was a good shout. I feel like the other one would have been way too dark for me. Oh, that's nice. It's like a nice combination of being warm enough, but still looking like a natural shadow. I like they've got a mixture of different colours, that like you've got a blonde brow powder and a brunette. So it could be quite good if you're starting out with like a makeup kit or something. You can just take this and it's kind of got a little bit of everything. I know you guys are going to want to see this. I may use these, I may not, because I do have another highlighter to try. But let's just go in with a quick swatch of the gold one. Oh, the gold one's nice. That is really pretty. I may actually have to use that. And then we have this kind of pearly pink one just next to it. Also very nice, but yeah. That may have to go on my face at some point. For blush, I'm going to be using one of their ombre blushes. This one is in the shade Strictly Chic, and I'm just going to use the same brush that I used before. So as you can see, you've got like a lighter colour at the top, and it goes a little bit deeper. I'm going to go somewhere in the middle. And just dust that on the apples of my cheeks. Give myself a really awkward smile. Oh, that's really nice. I don't like blush that much. Like, I can kind of take it or leave it. But that's definitely like a blush that I'll use every day now. Let's move on to highlighter. So, like I said, I may use that gold colour, but first of all, I'm going to try this one out. This is the Illuminator in the shade Ritualistic. Like that. Looks very icy. Shall we use the gold one and use that on like the smaller parts of our face? Like maybe our nose, brow bone, but I feel like the gold one should be going on our face. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my Real Techniques setting brush. I feel like this is going to be insanely pigmented. Ooh, that doesn't actually look too gold on the skin. That's actually pretty intense. I find that I love so many things that NYX does, but they've never really brought out a highlighter that I'm like, that is sick. I wonder if this highlighter is a single anywhere else. Blending it on the skin really, really nicely too. Doesn't look powdery at all. And then as promised, I'm going to take the Illuminator and I'm going to take that just on the end of the brush and see if we can pop that right on the high points. Ooh, yeah, that's really icy. Yeah, I definitely think my favourite is that gold one in this palette. But I do still really like the single one. So for brows, I do already have a clear brow gel in just to keep everything semi in place. I'm also going to be using their tinted brow gel. This one is just in the colour Espresso and it's just got like a standard wand. So I'm just going to run that through my brows quickly just to give them a little bit of colour. It's maybe a little bit more warm toned than I would usually like, but when you kind of blend it out it looks absolutely fine. I'm then going to use one of their Tame and Frame pomades. I have used these before, but this one is in the colour Chocolate. Yeah, it's a little bit too warm tone for me, so I'm going to go in with the other one that I use quite a lot. And this one is in the shade Espresso, so same as the brow gel. Yeah, like I said, I use this pomade a lot, so this isn't like a new thing for me. I just thought I'd try a different colour, but it seems like Espresso is the one for me. Cool, pretty happy with those brows. On to the fun part. Now, I have a few palettes here. Obviously, I have the Love Contours All palette, and then I also have one of their Perfect Filter palettes, which is just this kind of orangey red tones but I feel like I've been doing a lot of warm toned eyes recently 
so I might do something with these. This perfect filter one is marine layer. These are a pain in the ass to show you guys. There we go. So it's got like a bunch of blues. And then I also have the Avant Pop palette, which I've swatched like a few times. I think I've just swatched like this one and this one. Um, but these are so, so nice. I actually might use that color. Fuck it. I'm gonna do a green eye look. That's what we're doing here. So I'm gonna take this shade here from the Avant Pop palette. These are super pigmented and I'm gonna need a mirror. That could be useful. So I think I'm just gonna pack that on the outer part of my eye first. Take a little bit more of that. I should not be wearing a white shirt. And I'm gonna use this lime green color. Looks like it has a bit of a shimmer to it. And I'm gonna pop that on, I guess the inner corner of my eye, but also kind of the center. Nice. That blends in like a dream. I'm then gonna take that matte green turquoise shade just on a kind of smudger brush. And I'm just gonna go on my lower lash line with that. Ooh, that's a lot of payoff there. Where did I put my brush? There it is. I'm then gonna take that illuminator again and I'm just gonna blend that into that lime green a little bit more. For lashes, I have used this once but I can't actually really remember what it's like, so I'm just gonna use it again. Um, we have the double stacked mascara base and top coat. So I think, like I said, I have used this once before, but I think I maybe used it wrong. I think I used this, then this to add the fibers, and then this again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So just pop that on. Let's see what this does on its own. I feel like last time I used this, I put the fibers on first, and it all just got a little bit messy. I feel like there's a video on my channel of me actually doing that. It's actually quite a nice mascara on its own. It's quite like a natural finish. But I feel like obviously with a green eye, you probably want something a little bit more out there. Hola. So then I'm gonna add these fiber thingies. It literally just looks like cotton wool. And I'm gonna pop them on the end. Still looks like cotton wool. I'm not sure how I feel about this. They're just kind of blowing all over my face, really. Okay, let's add some more of that mascara then and see what it does. Because right now, I just look like I've got cotton wool stuck to my lashes. Maybe it adds a little bit of length. Nothing crazy noticeable. I probably just stick to the mascara because the mascara kind of does it anyway. I don't know, it does work. It's just, it's not too much of a difference if that makes sense. I'm actually really happy with this eye look. I'm obsessed with this green eyeshadow. May have to wear it more often. Thumbs up if you want a green eyeshadow makeup tutorial. I thought that could be fun. So next I'm gonna move on to lips. Now you guys know I love my liquid suede and my soft matte lip creams. I don't really know too much about their lipsticks. Obviously I have used a few during the face awards, but I don't know too much. I picked up this one. This is one of their matte lipsticks in the shade Sable. That looks really pretty actually. And then I also have this little one here hiding. This is one of their pin up pout lipsticks in the shade Silk. But I also have a new lip liner from them. I really like their lip liners in general, but this is just a new shade. This one is in the color Brown Cafe. Cafe. And let's just line our lips with that. It's like a super ashy brown colour. I've got, I've got loads of these fibres like stuck to my lips. And then we'll chuck on some of this sable lipstick. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Something in my eye. And by something I mean those stupid fibres. And then last but not least, we have the Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. So I'm gonna douse myself in this. What is the little spray like? Oh, it's nice. Green eyeshadow might just be my new favorite thing. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and who knew that I would actually really like green eyeshadow. I'm honestly obsessed with this look. I love pretty much everything I've tried today. No surprises there. Um, the only thing I wasn't really that keen on was the mascara. The mascara was nice. 
just the little fibers. I can still feel them in my eye and it's getting kind of annoying, but that's fine. I just won't use the fibers next time. And um, yeah, everything else, the highlighter was really, really nice. The powder was really good. Um, really, really like the foundation as well. And obviously I love the eyeshadow. I think it's super, super pigmented and also the lip color. Let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below and if I featured any of your favorite products. If you did enjoy this video then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.